Hare Krishna. The value of what we drive doesn't matter as much as the values that drive us. We live in a very materialistic culture which is very externals centered. Now, people's status yes, and stature is determined by the, by the clothes they wear, by the phones they carry, the cars that they drive. And only if a person has impressive enough externals, then people uh, uh, care, many people care to spare some time for knowing the person. Otherwise, they just neglect the person. And that's why we may also get too obsessed in trying to get such externals. Now, uh, the, the prob the exter getting impressive externals is not the problem. If we can, if it is, uh, and if it is required, we can get them. But the point is that that doesn't matter as much as the values, the value of what we drive, uh, that doesn't matter as much as the values that drive us. If so somebody might be driving in a very expensive car, but that person may actually just inherited that wealth. And if we meet the person, the person is actually lazy, and intelligent, unresourceful, and good for nothing. So, though no real, no valuable values are driving such a person or for that matter some people might have got a very expensive car by Machiavellian means, you know, they may have uh, exploited others, trampled on others and uh, they may have been very uh, self-centered, corrupt, uh, do domineering, exploiting kind of people. And they may be very prosperous, but even if we approach them, we become close to them, they will simply use us and exploit us also if required. So, if we want to, if we want to ourselves grow and we want to have relationship with people, we can't just decide those relationships based on the value of what they drive. We have to look at the values that drive them. And then our relationships, our friendships can be enduring. And then we can ourselves be inspired to similarly cultivate values. If there are no, no sustainable values uh, that a person possesses, even if they are driving very valuable things, they will not be able to sustain. A lazy person will lose all the wealth. An exploited person, their, their wrongdoings will catch up with them sooner or later and they will come crashing down. The Bhagavad Gita talks about such people who are who are wealthy, but they are very exploitative. It says that in 16.13 to 15, it talks about the demoniac people. Uh, it says that Itamadhyamaya labdham imam prapse manoratham idamasti damapime bhavishyati punardhanam asau maya hatah shatrur hanishe chaparanapi ishvaro aham aham bhogi siddho aham balavan sukhi Adhyo bijanva nasmi konyos sadrusho maya yakshe dasya mimodisha ityagyana vimohitaha. So Krishna says over here that, uh, that this is the mentality. Just completely consume my thoughts of wealth. I've got this much money, I'll get this much. I've got this much, I'll get this much. And then, and for that, asau maya hataha shatrur, or this enemy I have killed. Hanishe chapara anapi, I'll kill that enemy also. Ishvaro aham aham bhogi, I am the controller, I am the enjoyer. Siddho ambal vansukhi. Just see how perfect I am, how powerful I am, how happy I am. Adyo abhijanuva nasmi. Just see how I am surrounded by aristocratic people, just see how great I am. Konyo sisadrusho maya, and who is there like me? And this is their illusion. Ityagyana vimohitaha. Those people are deluded. To think that there is no one like me, actually the only person like whom no one is, ultimately is God. We are all, of course we are all unique. But unique in terms of supremacy, that is only God in that position. To the extent we recognize that this mentality of trying to acquire externals at any cost, that makes us lose our internals. That makes us lose our touch with reality, lose our connection with the supreme reality and thus it propels us into illusion. And illusion lies misery. 
So those people who are externally obsessed, they they are themselves miserable. They will soon be miserable if they do are not right now. And if we go by their path, we will also be miserable. The value that should drive us is the value of our connection with Krishna. We are in this world. And we are meant to serve Krishna. Whatever abilities we have, whatever resources we have, we want to use them to make a constructive contribution in this world. If we have this value driving us, we will tap our talents, we will do justice to them. And Krishna willing, we will also get impressive resources that we can use constructively. But the, exter the value of our externals won't give us happiness, irrespective of whether we have them or don't have them. The value of our internals, the value of our connection with Krishna, that is what will give us lasting satisfaction and that is what will enable us to make a worthwhile contribution. Thank you. Hare Krishna.